Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. I'm T Captain X. If your goal is to get better at Warzone, then this video is for you. And when it comes to improving at Warzone, I think there's three main components to it. Number one, there's your aim. And second, there's your movement. Now of those first two, I go in a lot of depth in a previous video of my bot to pro video, where I go in depth about settings, movement techniques, and really how to practice and improve your aim in a fast manner. But in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the third component, which I think is probably the hardest to do, but probably the most important and that is your decision making or your game sense so in this video we have a high kill solo versus trios gameplay where i'm going to be explaining my thought process and taking you through my decision making so you guys can improve it into your gameplay now when it comes to how do you do this quickly what's the best and fastest way to improve i think putting yourself in a difficult situation is the best you kind of have to fail to succeed in a way and I think the best way to do that is to play outnumbered. And we can do that a lot easier now after one of the big updates in season four. So in season four, they made it so that there is a dynamic resurgence timer. What that means is if you load into resurgence duos, trios, or quads as a solo, meaning you turn the squad fill off, you're gonna still get that solo resurgence uh, aspect to it. Meaning if you die, you're not gonna wipe back to the lobby, but you're gonna respawn like you're playing resurgence solos. And this makes playing these game modes so much better in terms of trying to practice and get better. So let's jump right in here. Just, I've looted some ground loot here. Now, at this point, the reason I'm checking left and right is I thought I had heard some footsteps. So I'm just taking my time and I'm clearing kind of my corners. One of the big rules of thumbs you're gonna see in this video is just to take your time and don't just full send in stuff. So again, I'm hearing footsteps. I just heard a slight footstep there as before I go in this door. And when I opened the door, I was thinking there was probably someone down below there. I was not expecting there to be a guy literally right in front of me. But this is a perfect opportunity to utilize the drop shot. When you are in a very close quarter situation and you get caught off guard, hold prone and drop down below them because that, that small little movement is just enough to throw them off and make them miss some shots. And you're gonna see I got very low health there. So immediately I'm trying to put armor plates back on and I'm checking the mini map here. You're gonna see his two teammates are gonna be pinging across from me. One is on my level, so he's a solid dot. That means he's on my level. One is above me because he's a little up arrow there in the top left. So once I'm fully plated, I'm peeking out slowly. I'm not just running into the open, but I'm slowly peeking out and there's gonna be a guy right here. A little hard to see because the fog and vondel is rolling in, which is kind of annoying. So we're gonna to switch to my long range gun and he, I think, started to see me. So I kind of backed into cover and I'm like, let's try to take another angle here, go back out and here's the one. Now, very, very subtle thing I did here, but this is very important. So watch how I peek out here. I see this guy, but right here, here's number two. But watch this very subtle movement, how I shift back to the right. See how I shift back to the right? Now that small movement, cut off the other player's line of sight and it kind of isolated this to a true 1v1. So positioning and utilizing cover to its maximum is incredibly important, especially when we're playing against multiple people. So have a very close gunfight here, one HP basically, but I'm gonna prone below cover, take my time, put my plates on and kind of reset this fight here. I'm trying to get another angle and see, can I get a peek from a different angle? Another good rule of thumb is never re-peek from that same angle twice. Always reposition, try to throw off your enemies. Now, right there, I got hostile enemy dropping in. And so I'm gonna turn around, look, and here comes my buddy from earlier. This is the first guy that I killed. I'm gonna switch to the M4 and we're gonna take him down here. Now, again, I get that down and this is giving me information. Whenever you're getting downs in resurgence, you're gonna get pings on the enemy players of where they are. So I know his two teammates are still both on my level and they're across from me on the other rooftop. Now at this point, they're well aware of where I am. So I'm gonna kind of change up this fight. I'm gonna go down here and I end up running to this guy who, I don't know if his controller died or he was AFK, but we're gonna pick up that kill. That guy was on a completely different team that I just happened to run into. So again, we're gonna keep running down here. Now another, I run into another person here and notice the drop shot. I had zero audio cue there. I did not know that guy was coming, but as soon as I see him, I get caught off guard. 
I'm going to drop down immediately because again, in close quarter situations, and I will say this is probably the max distance you want to do a drop shot. Drop shotting is meant for very close quarters because the farther away you are, the smaller they have to adjust their aim and it's not that big of a deal, but I'm pretty close. I was caught off guard and I'm able to just get away with that kill. Mini Bach, it's not a very good SMG, so you also probably notice here, I did kind of flick up and try to go for headshots to ensure me winning that fight. Gonna change some guns, gonna take a Lockman sub, which is a much better round loot option here. Get another enemy dropping into the AO option. Now, you see the red smoke here. This guy went in the water. I really try to avoid fighting in the water in this game. The mechanics are just goofy and I don't like them. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to go away and I'm going to try to keep looking and try to figure out where people are. I want to get high ground here, get better position and get some information. So we're going to go up and thankfully this guy did not hear me. and He was in the middle of shooting someone else. So I take that kill, but here's my two guys I was fighting earlier on those other rooftops. So now I've got to prone down and get cover and it's kind of getting a little crazy here. I got another guy coming. Now, one thing I want to say here, it's very risky to chase. It's very risky to chase someone and follow them in the, in the same path that they're going. However, because that guy was landing in, I know he probably only has a pistol and I cracked his armor and got him very weak. Now he is going to go in the water and I'm not, I'm not going to go diving in after him, but he was absolutely one HP, able to get that down and, and then get the finish. But now I start getting shot in the back. Water can be your best friend when you need to escape. So we're going to go straight in. We're gonna dive down below. We also can put place on in the water. When you get pretty low in the water, one, it's very hard for your opponents to see you. And two, you uh, you can kind of get away and they can't really shoot you even if they're shooting right at you. The mechanics and physics of the water, they're a little goofy in this game. Now at this point, I'm like, you know what? I've got $8,600 at this point. I need to go get some guns and po possibly some perks. When I'm playing solo versus duo or solo versus trios or solo versus quads, the number I look for when it comes to money is $8,500 because I can buy both my guns for $5,000 and then I can buy a perk package for $3,500. I normally go with the commando perk package. It's the, the second one over because it gives me both fast hands and high alert. And in my opinion, fast hands is just such a valuable uh, perk to have. Faster weapon switching, faster reload and faster plating especially when you're playing outnumbered in solo versus trios like this, very, very important to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my loadout though. I didn't wanna go waste my money because a loadout had dropped. So I am just so everyone knows, I'm using an ISO 45 kind of sniper support build and an MCPR sniper class, which is a one shot sniper. My perks are right here and these are my recommended go-to perks. Now, uh, if I already have one of my guns, instead of grabbing overkill, I will grab uh, the uh, double time perk so I can sprint longer. So I'm gonna grab my loadout here and I'm trying to buy a UAV. When I do, guy pops up here and I'm also getting high alerted in the back. I absolutely love high alert. In my opinion, it is by far the best perk for because it alerts you when people are looking at you that you otherwise wouldn't know. So I'm gonna immediately turn around here. I notice how the first thing I do though is I get behind cover. I'm not just like ego challenging and trying to just start shooting here. I get behind cover and I start scanning and I don't really see this guy until I do. This guy was just kind of lurking up here. I think he was trying to line up a snipe on me, but I'm able to hit it first here and we're able to get the finish before he uh, self revives. So now I'm looking at the map and I'm trying to see where people are. And there is a ton of people over here in the market area and kind of what I like to call apartment south of market right here. And when I'm playing Warzone and especially Resurgence, my goal is usually I want to go for high kill games. I want to win the game obviously, but my way of having fun is I want to go after it and go for these high kill games. Like obviously everyone plays the game different. So if you're newer to this and your goal is just to get better and you feel like you're more of a beginner to moderate level player, maybe don't go for the hottest area and just try to pick out one little team that's isolated. Now I'm able to pick up a free kill there. I believe that guy was ghosted. I think he did have the ghost perk there. Um, thankfully he did not hear me on the zips. Zips are not very loud. They don't make a lot of noise. So if you are up on a rooftop and you buy a zip, just be cognizant of that, that zips don't make very much, uh, very much noise. Now up here, there is a lot of action going on here. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I just saw a guy fly across up here and there's actually a guy in the water down here, but look where I am. I am in high ground. I've got a sniper and I am chilling. One of the big things you're going to take away from this game is that positioning is king. 
And very rarely in this gameplay do I really put myself in, a, in, in bad situations. I am always playing positioning first instead of like full sending and going after people. And right here, I'm just chilling up here and I'm trying to hit snipes because there's so many people landing in front of me. I'm not the kind of person where I'm just going to sit on a rooftop all game. But when there's so much action and going in front of me, I'm trying to hit snipes. Now, unfortunately, I am missing my snipes left and right. Sniping is a lot harder to do in Warzone 2 than Warzone 1 with the slower bullet blasting and whatnot. But it's another thing that it is still a one shot kill if you can hit those headshots. And you'll see later in the gameplay where the sniper does come in very, very clutch. Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, I don't see anyone else. I want to go get involved. But notice how I didn't just full send and jump straight into the water. I'm keeping my high ground on the roofs and I am scanning the area. Now I get enemy soldier incoming. I look up. I don't know why this guy doesn't have a parachute. He's a magician, but he's floating here and there is spawn protection. I'm going to hit him twice. I'm going to miss the third, even though that totally looked like it just hit now that I saw that. Whatever. Um, spawn protection is frustrating. One thing to note, though, is if you headshot someone and they're only just a little bit off the ground you can still one shot down them with a with a sniper see this guy in the doorway here and we're going to hit a clutch snipe here and then follow up quickly before he can crawl away now let's check the minimap here we've got one above us over here and then his two teammates are over in market here's the guy above me literally right there floating i think he saw me late and tried to kind of roll away but switch to the iso we're able to get the down again teammates are pinging over here uh in market one thing I do want to say about the pings is the pings don't make a lot of sense of who exactly pings when you get your resurgence uh, pings after killing people because I'm in trios yet I have three pings showing up on the minimap and two more down here. I think there's kind of a weird dynamic to it just pings people around you, but it's not always consistent. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Now, again, we've got 11 kills coming up in the second circle here and I haven't done anything too crazy in terms of too risky. I haven't like rushed into a building to try to fight a three stack. Again, I'm just, I'm not camping, but I am holding high ground and I'm playing off position. Now I see this guy here. We're going to switch to the sniper and I just missed the headshot. We missed the follow-up shot and he is going to run away and get to cover. I'm not going to necessarily chase off that because there's a lot of action going around me. Now I get high alert and I believe it was the same guy and I see that sniper glint and he ends up hitting the shot like a millisecond before me and it flinches my shot up. I think I had a headshot about to be lined up, but again, we're not going to ego chow. Take your time. The rule of thumb, always, always take your time, put plates on before you get back into the fight. Make sure you're always putting plates on in cover as well when possible. This guy is again going to try to land on me. So we're going to switch to the ISO and take care of him. I'm checking before I go down for my finish to see if the other guy's there. Now, look at the radar here. This guy is pinging across from me on my level. It's a solid dot. There's no arrow up or down. So I'm going to immediately check for that after I reload, and I don't see him. So I'm going to jump across here, and I'm trying to see and figure out where this guy is. I thought there was a doorway initially right here to my left, but it, this is not one of the buildings. However, I do hear shots up ahead of me, and there's a lot of action going on up here. We're able to pick a nice headshot here, get the finish here. There was another guy to the right that you might have saw. And again, I'm going to get my finish here. But again, I'm not just like full sending and jumping here. I am, when you're playing outnumbered, you really have to lean on your long range gun, whether that's an assault rifle or whether that's a sniper. You really, really want to try to keep a lot of your fights in that mid range area and not push in where they can use their numbers against you in a close range fight. So again, I'm playing behind cover. I'm using this wall here kind of as a natural head glitch here. And I'm just trying to look at these different windows to see if he's gonna peek. Another guy comes off here and I'm able to get the down and finish there. Now, I'm getting two ghost pings here, meaning they're pinging, their circles pinging. See how that's coming right here on the top left? But there's no dots here. However, one thing I wanna say is I believe ghost pings and stuff are just broken when it comes to war zone resurgence so don't always trust those just want to throw that out there got a guy landing in here we do hit two baby headshots but they were high up we're able to get him very weak with spot protection and finish him up with the iso again i'm just scanning the area i do get a ping pretty close by down below me over here so that's where i'm looking one small tip here is if you're noticing how am I diving across the roof like that is when you get up on these roofs, if your dive and slide behavior is inverted in your controller settings, you only have to tap 
your slide or dive button or your, your crouch button. And as long as you're sprinting, you're going to dive and you can immediately pull your chute and it allows you to jump across these rooftops um, very efficiently. So it's a very good move to know how to do to kind of traverse these rooftops. Now, I hear some audio in here. So watch how as I come through the door, watch how my crosshair is centered and I'm looking and I'm already starting to aim in, in case there is a player here. Take my time. I'm aiming around. We're going to slide down here. Sliding is good. You just have to time it early. Again, I'm I'm hearing footsteps, but I don't know where this guy is. So every time I come around the corner, I'm pre-aiming. I don't want to get caught in a sprint. I'm trying to get first shots here. Now, you probably didn't see it, but I got high alerted for a split second on my right side over here. So we're going to look back. There he is. This guy is just lurking in this room over here. He actually had a claymore there, which somehow I ran past, but it doesn't work the second time. We're going to get hit by the claymore. We've got 16 kills now coming in third circle. We're on a pretty good game. Now, one thing to take note of is I am definitely not on like a PR pace gameplay, uh, but I'm on a good game. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I want to maybe go for like a 30 kill game if possible, but I really want to get the win in this game. So one thing just keep in mind is and we're going to not going to talk, not going to talk about that shot that I just absolutely whiffed. But just keep in mind, you know, what's your goal? If you if your goal is to break a PR and drop your first 20 or 30 bomb, you need to be a little bit more aggressive. But in 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 this game, I was more like, you know, what? I just want to have a good game and I want to get the win. So we're going to get the down here. I'm, I'm reloading here before I go up to finish. But as I go up to finish, I one, I heard an audio cue, but two, also on the minimap, you're going to see the dot right next to me with a down arrow. So I'm kind of assuming he has to be coming up these stairs. So again, we pre-aim it. Easy peasy. A big, big rule of thumb is in Warzone 2 with the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire time being slower than what it was in Warzone 1. Very important that you are pre-aiming corners or at a minimum that you're not sprinting around a corner, that you're slowing down and strafing around that corner with good centering so that you can get first shots. A lot of the times in this game, whoever shoots first generally wins the fight. So I did just see two players kind of off in, the, off in the distance this way. And again, notice how I have not left the rooftops in quite a while, but I don't think you would consider I'm camping by any means either. Now a loadout goes down. I am using the Schlager Night View optic on my Cypher, which I love because of situations like that. Even though he smoked the loadout, I can see right through it and, and get a kind of free kill there. Now looking at the minimap here, got two dots in, in front of me and below me. Zone is starting to move and Resurgence is about to disable here. And again, if I was like, you know what, I'm on burner pace, I have a potential to break a PR, I'm probably going and I'm probably going to try to just go get this kill. But I, again, at this point, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to play smart. I'm going to keep playing positioning. I'm going to aggressively get into fights, but not make dumb decisions. I was getting shot at from behind, so I try to take a shot out, but I want to try to hold these guys and figure out where they are as my own mortar ends up hitting me. Now, quick little side note here, guys. If you're enjoying this style of video, if you feel like this is helpful and your goal is to get better at Warzone, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Do a lot of informational videos on what's the best classes, loadout, settings, tips to get better. Uh, a lot of short videos also about tips to get better. And we also stream here live on YouTube. So if you're interested in checking those things out, if that sounds like a, something you're interested in, consider subscribing for more content. So one thing to take note of, respawn is disabled at this point. So if I go down, I don't get the solo resurgence timer, I'm dead, I gotta play smart. I'm still trying to hold and figure out where these two guys were that pinged earlier. And to be honest, I don't know where these guys went. I'm assuming they must have rotated deep around that I just never saw or heard them. So with the zone moving, it's actually, this was a split zone. So the when it's a split zone and when it comes together, those zones move really fast. So you absolutely need to get ahead of it. You don't want to be trying to like run on the edge of zone. Now, I was going to go buy a UAV here at the spy station, but I heard footsteps to my right in this building over here. And I'm kind of like getting worried at this point. The last thing I want to do, like I said, is be fighting the zone that is coming in. So I'm like, you know what? There's a zip right here. I'm going to smoke this zip and I'm getting out of here because I don't want to end up fighting zone again. 
I don't want to put myself in a bad, stupid situation that I don't need to be in. So you know what? I'm going to prioritize positioning, and this is going to come in so clutch for this end game. I'm looking at the map here, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what high ground power position is in cover? And it's going to be this building right here. Now, I don't know if you saw, there was a guy on this rooftop that just went in. So as I'm coming into this fight, my goal was always, I want to have the better positioning than them. So I'm going to try to make sure I'm maintaining the high ground by landing on the roof and so I can shoot down. So I land down and I don't realize, and I didn't even realize these windows were here, but when I do, I'm like, oh, I can see through these windows. So I try to shoot the guy in there. I crack armor, but I got sniped across from one of the other buildings. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I have to get to cover. When you're getting shot at, when you're in the open, number one goal, get to cover, move and get to cover. So we drop down here. And both of these guys are right here. But because I had weakened the one earlier, I think the other one was weak because of he was in the middle of a gunfight. I'm able to very quickly pick those kills up here. Get a quick reload off here. Now, they were fighting someone. And I was hearing footsteps in the building to my left. But I had no idea there was a guy right in here. And I don't know if you saw it. There was a guy. He just self-revived. I'm able to pick up that kill. Warzone 2, uh, the self-revive audio, it's very, very subtle. So you just have to be mindful of that, um, that when you down someone, you're not going to get a very loud audio cue that they sell. So I did get a little lucky there. So now I called in a UAV. I don't know how well you can see this because there's a mortar strike there, but there's a dot, there's a dot with no arrow. So on my level right here, there's another dot with a down arrow just beside me. So I'm looking through the window to see if he's going to peek through the window. And now the dot updates. And now he's like right next to me on my level. So I'm thinking he's got to be right outside this door. So we're going to peek around here and see if I can see him. I don't see him. So then I look down and I don't know if you can see it. There's a tracker footstep just at the bottom of the screen. So we're able to get this kill. I get him, but I, he threw a proc mine down, which almost killed me. Now, I'm still getting a... Uh, ping below me in this building. There's a lot of people over in, I think this is university over here, but look where I am. I am dead center in the zone and I'm on a really tall building. I am in perfect positioning. Again, if I was trying to break a PR, if I was on like a crazy pace, I'd probably be full sending it and just going for it. But I just want to get a good win here. I do see a guy on the roof over here. However, I'm getting high alerted most likely from this this roof so i have to be very very careful that you know not to get sniped or anything like that so i don't want to overexpose myself and just stand on the ledge so i'm trying to kind of keep moving and keep staying behind cover and keep uh scanning kind of my surroundings here now i try to go on very top here to see can i get a better angle but now i'm getting high alerted from everyone i'm starting to get shot at here and i don't really like where i am because i am on top of a building with no cover around me I'm not getting high alerted, but then I start to get high alerted. So I'm like, you know what? I am getting off this roof. I need to find a different area that has some cover to work with. So there was a guy up here on the roof to my right, but everybody is kind of focusing me. And this is kind of the bad thing of when you're in the very center of the, the end zone is that everyone wants to be where you are because you are the biggest threat to everybody. So I do spot a guy way over on this rooftop. I get it down. I immediately call the precision airstrike, which precision airstrikes are best for getting finishes. However, somehow it misses. Even though I called it immediately after, I think he crawled just out because he crawled immediately when I downed him. In hindsight, I probably should have just tried to follow up with the snipe instead of the PA, but it is what it is. Now, doing that, though, kind of got them off my back, and now I got a lot of people in front of me over this way that zone is going to start to close here and i want to try to hold these people out of zone here is my goal here now i did kind of was hearing some footsteps so that's why i peeked in there and i checked just to make sure no one's coming again keeping my power position keeping the high ground but not over my over exposing myself too much i get a crack i'm able to very quickly switch to my other weapon and get that finished which is very important Again, I'm hearing kind of footsteps below me, but I can't really tell. So I'm just trying to keep checking here. Doing a little inventory management. I'm not going to need that much sniper ammo. So I do drop for more plates just in case. Now, zone is moving and I did not hear this, but thankfully this was perfect timing that this guy came up. Now, when I came up though, I came out here with my sniper. If I had my AR out, if I was running an AR, I would have just probably killed him with the AR. 
but I don't want to risk whiffing a snipe. So I'm, I am going to switch to my SMG. Again, that is a huge reason why I run fast hand, so you can switch your weapons very quickly, and I think it is such an important thing. Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, zone's moving. I want to see, is, is there anyone coming in? And this time, I do, thankfully, just start to hear this guy coming up. We're able to pick up those two kills. So now we're really in the end game here. Zone's really closing. There are five other people left and three other teams here. I've got 26 kills, so we're on a pretty solid game here at this point. Again, I want I really want to maintain my power position here. So as I climb up, there is a guy on this roof right here. Now I really want to know where this missed. Because I sh when I shot, <laughs> that reticle was dead on his head. Somehow it missed. It is what it is. I try to challenge with the ISO. I miss. I go down. However, thankfully, I never died this game, so I still have my self revive. I also have a durable gas mask. When you have a gas mask, you're in the end game and you're trying to, you know, play it up or self revive. Take advantage of staying in the zone because a lot of players, they don't expect you to stay in the zone. So I'm going to throw a smoke just in case so he can't see me. And I'm taking my time. I'm putting my plates on. Now, look where the zone is, though. Zone is pulling completely away from them and towards me. I got a very good zone pull here. I've got a durable gas mask. I've still got four ticks on it. These suckers last a while in gas. So because of that, I've got my smoke grenade. I'm going to dive and jump, and we're going to get to zone. And we're going to, again, play power positioning. Once I reload and play it back up, I'm going to peek. And there's my buddy from earlier. Finally, we hit the shot, and we take care of him. Now we are down to a 1v2 situation here. As zone is coming in and my gas mask is fading, I am going to get to the very edge of this building so I can get, you know, as close to the zone so that the zone is not going to do a whole lot of damage to me. But notice how I'm not just standing on the ledge here. I am, you know, I'm going to play it back up once I can. And I'm trying to, like, jump and peek over and look. Are they up top or are they below? Because if they come from up top, I'm in a very dangerous position. They have high ground on me. They have more cover than me. So I have to be very careful. I don't know where anybody is. So we keep peeking. I keep trying to check. I do throw that just so I can get my smoke grenades on the munitions. And bam, you might have just saw him. He did appear up top. Now, he was moving so fast, like my sense couldn't catch up to him. But he's pretty close. So we switch to the SMG and we do take care of him. Now, we get the down. Now, here is one thing to note. When respawn is disabled, so the resurgence is disabled, you do not get pings from killing people in Resurgence. So I don't know where the last guy is. In Rebirth of Fortune's Keep back in Warzone 1, you would. So this is a change from Warzone 1 to Warzone 2. But this is why I love Tracker. You're going to see his footprints are right below me. I didn't hear him or anything. I was just looking down. There's his foot, his his uh, footprints. And I'm just trying to look. Where is he? He's just kind of hugging the wall here. And there he is right here. And again, I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm not going to jump down. I'm going to keep my high ground. And I'm going to... Now, okay. I just said I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm not going to play down. But I did crack his armor. I know that this isn't going to take too much fall damage from me falling down here. He was literally 1 HP. We're going to get the kill. For some reason, that last kill didn't count because that should have been 29. But we're going to walk away with 28, 29 kills, whatever it was. And I think, like I said, the big thing that you can notice from that gameplay is it was we played it smart. We always prioritized positioning, but we weren't camping. We we're still running around, getting in a lot of fights. And if you do this method, what I'd recommend, start with solo versus duos. When you start to feel more comfortable there, then you can really challenge yourself and try solo versus trios. And once you start to feel comfortable in these outnumbered fights, when you're fighting a whole team by yourself, your decision making and everything you do is going to get so much better when you're just playing normal trios or quads with your friends. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you're new here, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content just like this. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will link my bot to pro settings video here where I go in depth with my settings and how to improve your movement and aim. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.